Good day and welcome to Connect, our daily meditation where we connect to God, each other and our own inner selves. Now we read in the Bible that it's good to meditate on the Word of God. So find a comfortable place and inhale slowly, breathe in peace, exhale, drive out anxiety, worries, stress and fear. Now the Bible reading today is out of Proverbs, Proverbs 28 verse 1. The wicked flee when no one pursues them, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Now an eight-year-old boy had a younger sister who was dying of leukemia, and he was told that without a blood transfusion she would die. His parents explained to him that his blood was probably compatible with hers. And if so, he could be the blood donor. And they asked him if they could test his blood. And he said, sure. So they did, and it was a very, very good match. Then they asked him if he would give his sister a pint of blood. That It could be her only chance of living. He said yes, he would think to have to think about it overnight, but he will tell them in the morning. The next day, he went to his parents and he said that he was willing to donate the blood. So they took him to the hospital where he was put on a bed next to his six-year-old sister and both of them were hooked up to ivies. A nurse withdrew a pint of blood from the boy, which was then put into the girl's ivy. The boy lay on his bed in silence, while the blood dripped into his sister, until the doctor came over to see how he was doing. Then the boy opened his eyes and he asked, Doctor, how soon until I start to die? My friend, this boy completely misunderstood. But even so, he displayed courage. I don't know what you are facing today, but the Word of God meets you right where you are and say to you to have courage. So what is courage? It is when someone rushes into a burning building, risking his own life to save a little child. Or when someone tackles an armed person on a bridge in London who is killing innocent people. But when that is courage in action. Our text says the wicked flee with no one pursues when no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. The righteous ones are the ones who trust in the Lord, the ones who have faith. They know who they are in Christ. In the the Lord Jesus, they are victorious. They are overcomers. They are completely forgiven. They are saved. They are redeemed. They know that they were born for courage, for bravery, for strength, to be an overcomer. My friend, God has given you His Spirit. You were not born to be a loser. You were given the power of the Holy Spirit to be victorious over the problems, over the struggles, over the trials of life. Fyodor Roosevelt's courage and determination was displayed in 1912 as Roosevelt was about to step into his car to take a drive to deliver a speech a man confronted him and shot him in the chest his people wanted to rush him to the hospital but Roosevelt 
demanded that he be driven to his destination so that he might address the people. Upon arrival, he told the people that he had been shot and asked them to be quiet, begging their pardon for his short and unusual speech. He then pulled out a blood-soaked manuscript from his jacket and he spoke for 90 minutes. My friend, that is courage and guts in action. And when Roosevelt died in 1919, his youngest son telegrammed his brothers and said, the lion is dead. He was as bold as a lion and what he was, we should be. In Proverbs 28 verse 1, the Bible says the wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. I love that and I'm challenged by that. My friend, as children of God, we can be courageous, we can be bold, because we have goodness and mercy following us all the days of our lives. We have the peace of God and we are served by angels. We are protected through the presence and the power of the Lion of Judah, which is Christ Jesus himself. And anyway, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power. And if you have a controlling spirit of fear or anxiety, then it didn't come from God. As Christians, my friend, we are not defined by fear or driven by panic. We are full of courage because the line of Judah is with us. And let me tell you, my friend, you don't need to work up courage because you already have it. The moment you came to Jesus, you became an overcomer because of Jesus, because His Holy Spirit made His residence within you. So, Use the courage that God has given you. You already have power. Use the power that God has given you. You already have triumph in Jesus Christ. The war has been won already. So live in that triumph. Live as if you are successful. Go in the strength of the Lord. Face what life throws at you. Lift up your head with hope and confidence. And know that with God you can scale a wall. So take courage, be strong and courageous, for the Lord our God is with you. And in the original series of Superman, our superhero would courageously stare down the barrel of a gun. As the bullets bounced off his chest, Superman would just stood there and smile. Backpedaling or quitting was not on his mind. And then something weird would happen. Once the rounds were spent, the bad guy, in an act of desperation, would throw the gun at Superman. And Superman would duck. Superman, the guy full of courage, would duck to avoid being hit by an empty gun. How weird is that? Now sometimes we are like Superman. We duck and dive at things that shouldn't terrorize us. God has given us every reason to face life with courage. And yet we duck and dive at small things. We become dis discouraged, anxious, and we fret. We don't speak boldly of our faith for fear of other people. And we flinch in a thousand little ways, just like Superman. May our God, by the empowerment of His Holy Spirit, give us the courage to live our lives boldly and with courage, attempting great things for God and expecting great things from God. Amen. Please pray with me. Father God, I am praying for your strength and courage. Father, your promise is that you are always here with me and I should not fear anything, even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. 
So, Father, empower me to live courageously. Father, at times, I just feel like giving up and walking away from everything. And yet I know that in life, giving up is not an option. Give me courage and strength to face the future with you, because I know that you are with me every moment of every day. And Father, from this day forward, help me to put my hand into your hand and live my life with courage, knowing that you will never fail me nor forsake me. Thank you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.